Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, Elimination Chamber, WWE Elimination Chamber, just getting off the WWE Network. Um, I don't understand what WWE is doing. We have these marathon shows like The Rumble this year, Mania most years. You do a two-hour pre-show, you have a six-hour fucking show, but then there's times like this where... You do a two-hour pre-show, your main show starts at 6, but it's over at 9.15. I just, I just, just didn't quite understand that, but hey, it is what it is. Alright, we got some great matches and some stupid stuff going on here. First match on the pre-show, we have the Cruiserweight Championship on the line. We have challenger Kira Tozawa versus champion Buddy Murphy. It was good. It was your... T it's like a raw match to me, kind of... I've seen better matches on 205 Live for the title. Um, Buddy Murphy retaining. I gave it three and a quarter. Um, I do like both guys. I just think these cruiserweight title matches on the pre-show doesn't do a lot for me. It's not so show, so showcasing 205 Live guys. Um, so we'll get to the main show. The first match on the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Well, the rumor going around all day was that the women's tech house was going to be main event. We all know WWE. Well, if they think that's going to happen, we're not going to do that. So the first match of this card was the women's, the women's Tag Team Championships in the Elimination Chamber. We had Carmella and Naomi, fabulous glow, versus Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan, part of Riot Squad. Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics. Nia, uh, Nia Jax and T Tamina, I guess the Samoans. No real team name for them. Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville, Fire and Desire, and then the Boss and Hook Connection, Sasha Banks and Bailey. Overall, I thought it was good. Um, I don't have any issue with women's wrestling here in 2018 being good matches. Um, you're letting the women do what they need, what they can do. I think the chamber was just too much. I mean. To me, the match was good. You really didn't need the chamber aspect. Um, the fact that what they've done in recent years is put padding on the inside of the chamber. So it's really not the greats like it used to be. So it's not as, you know, dynamic and getting hurt and everything. There was some really cool spots. Um, the first team eliminated was Fabulous Glow by the Iconics. Um, Nia Jax and Tamina. Eliminated the Iconics right after that. The Riot Squad, Sarah Logan, Lynn Morgan, came off of the top of the pod on both Naya and Tamina. Um, so I thought it was, that was a kind of a cool spot. Um, and shortly, no, they came off, sorry, they came off on Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice. Fire and Desire. And then they got eliminated shortly after that. Um, Nia did spear, uh, went to spear Bailey. Bailey moved. Nia went head first into the pod, destroyed the pod. Um, the next to get eliminated was the Riot Squad. And then it came down to Fire and Desire. And uh, our both teams, Fire, and, Fire and Desire and Boston Hug. Eliminated uh, Naya and Tamina after Naya went head first into a pod. So the first two teams to start, Fire and Desire versus Boss and Hug, they were the last two teams. Um, these four women actually went at it for a little bit. All four on top of the pod. Um, they, when they ended up climbing down, Sony Deville did a kind of on a spear. It's like she went to spear Bailey through the pod, but Bailey hit the little support beam instead. It looked looked pretty bad. Sasha ended up getting the submission victory on Sonya Deville. So the Boston Hub connection, Sasha and Bailey, are the first ever WWE Tag Team Women's Tag Team Champions. Um, the WWF had Tag Team Championships, Women's Tag Team Championships back in the. What, 85, 86 era, they lasted maybe, maybe a year. 
Um, but this is WWE's first time with the women tag team champions. I love it. Um, so, so, so boss and hug connection. Bailey and Sasha getting the victory there. All right, on to the SmackDown tag titles. We had the champions, The Miz, Ver and uh, Shane McMahon versus the Usos. Um, oh, the women's tag team championships and elimination chamber actually so gave four and a quarter to it. Really good. I really enjoyed that. SmackDown tag titles here. We had Jailbird Jimmy Uso and his buddy, his brother Jay Uso versus Shane and The Miz, you know, the best in the world. Um, Shane did a coast to coast on Jay. He went to do the coast to coast on Jimmy. Failed into a super kick from Jay. Um, they only gave it like 14 minutes. I mean, it was an alright match. Um, Shane ended up doing his patented move, you know, the coast to coast. Did it twice, failed once. Elbow drop, top rope, threw a table. Threw uh, Jay on the table. Um, Jimmy ended up getting in the ring with the Miz. Miz went to pin him. Got to two. Jay or Jimmy or Jay kicked out or Jimmy kicked out. Excuse me, I get confused. Jimmy kicked out and ended up getting a quick. It looked like a quick, quick count, but hey, who's who's, who's watching that? End up getting kind of a roll up victory. So the Usos, your six time, six time tag team champions of the world. I gave it three and a half. Next up, we had the Intercontinental Title Line. It's a two one at one handicap match. Bobby Lashley with his mouthpiece Leo Rush versus Finn Bella. Like Finn said on Raw and on the interview, all I had to. All he has to do is pin Leo Rush. And he w took that to, to the bank. He uh, went after Leo Rush. He uh, was able to do that. He was able to hit the pin on Leo Rush. Um, short, quick, little nine minute match. Um, Finn Balor is your new Intercontinental Champion. Um, I give it two and a half. I mean, it was all right. Uh, next up, we had the stupidest part of the show. We had Charlotte come out. And talk about how Becky got suspended till five days after Mania by Fence. That Charlotte was put in her place for the main event at WrestleMania versus Charlotte. And blah, 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 blah. And then Ronda comes out. Ruby Wright's out. We have a Raw Women's title match. Ruby Wright versus Ronda Rousey. You kind of knew the outcome already. Two minutes later, or a minute and 40 seconds later, Ronda Rousey is still your Raw Women's Champion. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, here comes Becky Lynch to the crowd with her crutches. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, she's got a knee injury. People, we've seen this before. Um, when Becky won the Rumble, the talk was doing Becky, Becky Charlotte, and Ronda made of it mania. So this is how we put Charlotte in the match. So guess what? Hmm. I'm going to go on a limb and say somewhere down the line within the next 60 days, give or take, 50 days, whatever, however how long it is to WrestleMania, Becky Lynch will get reinstated. But she's going to have to beat Stephanie McMahon or Trip. Maybe that's WWE's, one of WWE's first ever intergender matches. Either Trip or Stephanie versus Becky Lynch. Either at Fastlane or the opening match at WrestleMania. If Becky wins that match, she can have her spot in the main event versus Charlotte versus Ronda. Becky wins the main event. Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Ronda Rousey. Becky walks out the champion. We've seen this storyline go down before. Oh, yeah, I remember now. WrestleMania 30, Daniel Bryan. Da ding So something like that's going to happen between now and Mania. And next up, we had no disqualification match. Oh, anything goes. Sounds so violent. Baron Corbin and the Beast. The Monster. Braun Strowman. Get these hands. Yeah, Braun got these hands all right. He got beaten. 
So you how violent this match was. Kindo stick, stairs, tables, chairs. Mostly in the ring. That's how violent this match was. Um, McIntyre comes out with a chair. Bobby Lashley comes out with a chair. They go after the monster, bon Braun Strowman. Um, so Strowman, Corbin, McIntyre all beat down on, or sorry, Corbin, McIntyre, and uh, Lashley all beat down on Strowman. They end up stacking two tables up in the middle of the ring and do a triple power bomb through the tables, through the both tables. Yeah, that happened. I give it one and a half star. Um, yeah, um, really? Why? Why? Why are we wasting all this? Uh, next up, the Elimination Chamber for the WWE title. As the match on SmackDown, we know that Randy Orton would be the last one out of the pod. So we had Kofi, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, and the phenomenal AJ Styles in pods. We had Samoa Joe and Daniel Bryan starting. Why, why we really insist on champions starting, or even in the women's, whoever started it had to finish it, why we insist on having that kind of... But, um... This match was alright. Kofi, AJ, Hardy, Orton, that's the order that came out of the pods. AJ went to do a phenomenal forearm from the top rope as Dana Bryan's climb up the cage. I mean, it looked pretty sick, um, but it kind of hurt AJ a little bit when he did it and knocked Dana Bryan off the side of the cage. Uh, AJ ended up eliminating Joe first. AJ was laying across the top of the turnbuckle. Jeff Hardy, from the top of the pod, went to do a swanton on the AJ. He does it, but he falls in the ring and gets kicked kicked by freaking uh, Dean O'Brien. And Brian eliminates him. Orton ends up eliminating Styles. Styles went to do uh, look like, you know, like a flam of forearm, went into an RKO. Kofi, I uh, ended up eliminating Randy, so I came down between Kofi and Daniel Bryan, and they had a good 13-minute match, basically, inside the chamber. Um, it was actually really good. Just I'd love to see those two go out at Mania. I actually thought for a little bit Kofi might win. Um, but yeah, they're fighting on top of a pod. Kofi is just going after Daniel Bryan, hit his head against the side of the chamber in like the plexiglass area there. I mean, oh, I really thought Kofi was going to win that for a minute, and uh, Dan Bryan ended up getting the victory. Um, match overall was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I gave it a four star. Um, so, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't the greatest chamber match ever, but it wasn't bad. Um, so, I mean, overall, the both chamber matches were good. Both, I gave one four and a quarter. One four. Um... The Ronda Rousey thing I could do without, so I definitely can see something going on with there with Stephanie and Tripoli in that for Mania. Um, there would be three weeks fast lane, then we have I think four weeks after that is Mania. Um, so make sure you stay tuned to the Robert Sports Show, especially as we get closer to WrestleMania. Kind of do the best of everything at Mania. Um, kind of some different things going on from the history of WrestleMania, from the WrestleManias that I have attended. Um, so definitely check all that out. But as always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader, sports channel content.